my feelings are the species is in big, big trouble. Um, you're talking about um, whooping cranes will only use water that's like up to two feet deep for feeding and wading through and finding crabs. They they don't go in deep water. Well, you know, sea level rise is forecast at what three three plus feet by the end of the century and you know, some models and Greenland ice cap and all that indicate a sea level rise of more than twenty feet is is more realistic. So basically all the areas that the whooping cranes are using now are gonna become unsuitable. And when a when a species loses its habitat, um it's gonna go into a steep decline and, and not survive. So um short term the picture is rosy. Long term um the, because of the sea level rise, um, it's kind of scary now. Um, as as marsh becomes too deep for the cranes, uh, new marsh will be created. So there's been some studies on what the coast will look like in 50 to 70 years, and you know, with different levels of sea level rise. So there there will be some habitat for them. So maybe it's not as dire as I described, but. Um, it's certainly something that the that the, the human population as a whole needs to get a handle on. Uh, I'm a firm believer that we've got to cut CO2 levels and we've got to do it immediately. Immediately, the science the science is there. The science is strong, and and it's just one of those uh, programs that we have to do. Um, so the other the other the other issue is. The black mangrove is spreading north. It was always, it was, the limit of the black mangrove was always south of the crane range. And so you'd go south of Port Aransas and, uh, you'd have black mangrove all the way to the Mexican border. But it didn't go, it didn't move north because it was killed out by freezes during winter. And it takes a good freeze to kill a black mangrove. It's, it's, it's not a matter of freezing temp- temperature for hours. It's more for days. You need several days where the, the temperature stays below freezing, and then that'll kill the totally kill the black mangrove. If you get just a short freeze, it may top kill the mangrove, but it re-sprouts and comes back. So, you know, in the la- my last 10 years working on the refuge, all kinds of black mangroves started coming in and uh, and and moving north. And it's all over Matagorda Island. Uh, it's, you see it now as you take the boat tours through the refuge. It's right along the intercoastal. And it's a question of how thick is that mangrove going to get? Right now, it's, it's fairly low. It's dispersed. It's, it's probably not that much of a factor. But any place where I've been where there's mangrove habitat, it became, becomes absolutely solid. Uh, where there's, where the mangrove displaces all the other plants. So you just have a mangrove forest. So it's gonna replace the wolfberry. It's gonna, uh, line all the ponds where the blue crabs are. And, uh, it's basically, I think, uh, you know, if the climate keeps warming, that it's, that the whole Lower Texas coast, where the whooping cranes are, are gonna is gonna become mangrove habitat, which is not suitable for the cranes. So um, that's just an absolute huge issue, and something it was something I started working on um, towards the very end of my career, and I didn't get very far. Um, but whether you know whether it's possible to control black mangrove in 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 the crane area i mean if, if there's just thousands of them so it would be extremely uh difficult but to me we, we've got to come up with a solution for that it's a uh, it's a, a definitely a long term threat and then of course the other threat is what's going to happen to all the marshes around on the texas coast uh, can they can enough marshes be protected um and kept human development away from them um, to provide homes for the whooping cranes. I mean, a lot of marshes, the developers want to turn into uh, canal lot subdevelopments. And so those battles are going on. And, uh, yeah, so the habitat of the whooping crane is really not secure. 
And uh, so that's a huge threat for the species.